Alright, I'm gonna start off by saying call halal Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah Ba Shem Rakal Kadash Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akiyama on the four corners. Putting in his work in faith and truth and sincerity. Salutations to all the confusing the faces of Akiyama out there on the four corners. Nathani, um, Akwa, to receive the word of Yahweh and Yahweh and ominous meekness and in silence. May the Most High shine this light uh, upon you. I just have a few scriptures I want to go through uh, real quick. Oh, this is the second Peter's. Uh, the third chapter. Second Peter's, the third chapter. Start with the first verse. It reads, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both of which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. That ye, verse 2, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shah Masiach. Okay, it says, be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, man. So we. We must be, you know, uh, mindful of the words, you know, that was spoken before by the holy prophets, man. You know, we must be, as, as men of the Lord, we must be mindful of the words spoken, you know, as, as future reference. And it says of the commandment of us, the apostles of Yahweh Shah Masiak, man, things that we were commanded to do that, that, the, that, the, that the prophets were commanded to do. And they acted them. They acted them out. Okay, you see what I'm saying? They stayed on the straight and, and narrow path. So we must be mindful of the things that were said to us by the holy prophets and, and, and their actions. Okay, and use that uh, as an example. This is how we should move. Okay, because it started off in in, in uh, chapter three, verse one. It says, "Beloved, man." Okay, that's the elect, man. Okay, that's the house of David. Second Peter's verse three, chapter three, verse three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Okay, we see that all the time, man. Okay, in and out, out outside of Israel, man. Okay, you know niggas coming on the comment board, leaving all kind of comments, scoffing. Kicking against the truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, niggas coming out on the block. With their mouth turn up. Hollering about taking away our happiness. Shit like that. And it says walking after their, their own lust, man. After their own desires, man. Okay? And you see that with our people. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Shit, all you gotta do is just stick your head out the door, man. Stick your head out the window, man. You see the so-called biblical Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, walking after your own lust, man. Okay? Falling after your own heart, man. And I know it seems right unto you, but it's really the way of death. It's a lot. Yeah, Proverbs 16 and 25, it reads, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. Okay? So how you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, how y'all living, man? It seem right, because you look around and you see everybody else doing what, what, what you're doing. Okay? As a man, you see other men, shit, lusting after other men's wives, trying to chase other men's wives. You know what I'm saying? Just really being cool, cool niggas, man. Undisciplined. As a woman, are you see these other hoes out here fucking and sucking dick, 
like it's going out of style. So they like, shit, fuck, they doing it. Shit, I'm going to do it. Tattooed up, piercing, long blonde wigs. You know what I'm saying? When dressing unappropriately, falling after your own lust, man. Okay, best being niggas, man. Okay, Second Peter 3 and 4. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation, man. Okay, and that's, and that's what you, you scoffers and, and scorners are uh, basically saying, man. Where's the promise of his coming, man? Where's this Yahweh Shah Mashiach that y'all y'all proclaiming and screaming out here, you know, hollering and, and screaming and raising up your voice like a trumpet? Shit, I don't, I don't see no Yahweh Shah. Shall I see is this, this white man, okay, ruling, and I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna follow my master, the so-called white man. Second Peter three and five. For this, they would willingly are ignorant that by the word of the power of the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby this world that was then was being overflowed with water perish man okay so the most high the earth standing out of the water and in the water was overflowed with water man okay was destroyed by the most high power man you gotta understand the, the power that we're dealing with man okay not this fluffy fluffy you know stretchy feel good God loves everybody, sweet Jesus, that they teach you in this Christian church, man. Okay? All right? First, we make it clear that the Most High Yahweh is a different ent ent entity than his son, Yahweh Shah, our Savior, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, man. Okay? So, you have to un understand what kind of power we're dealing with, man. Okay? He flooded the earth, man. Okay? Because of wickedness, man. Because of the wickedness of men. Because of the pride of men okay that's that's the that's the perfection of the most high man okay second peter 3 and 7 and the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men man okay so because of ungodly men starting with the so-called white man this place is reserved into fire in the day of judgment, man. Okay? Fire, not a campfire, not a match. Okay? Thermonuclear fire. Destruction. Okay? It's reserved, man. Okay? When you have a reservation for something, that means, you know, this is... It's deemed as yours, okay? Some may come before you, some may come after you, but this is yours. This is deemed as yours, okay? All right? Second Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, okay? Beloved, man, that's the house of David, man. That's the elect, all right? Be not ignorant of this one thing. That's what David David actually means, beloved. That's what David means. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Okay. So the Lord is 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 it's not on our time frame. Okay. We're 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 subject to the seconds, minutes, and hours. And days here on this on this earth, but according to Second Peter three and eight, one day is with the Lord is just a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Okay. Second Peter three and nine, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward to us ward, not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance okay? the only the elect is going to uh, is going to repent 
And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. When, when is the Lord not has made a promise that he's broke that he's broken, man? Okay? Not once, man. So the men that's counting slackness, man, should you not you're not men of the Lord, man. Okay? Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, the works that are therein should be burned up, man. Okay, so what's the day of the Lord? The day of the Lord is going to come in the, as a thief in the night, man. It's going to come all of a sudden with the swiftness, man. Okay, and which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, thermonuclear destruction noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, what's going to make the elements melt with fervent heat? Nuclear missiles, man. Okay, the earth also and the works that are therein should be burned up, man. Okay. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things should be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? What kind of person should you be? You should be a man of the Lord. You should be a man of up, up, upright man, righteous man, okay? A man with discipline, patience, okay? Fervent toward this truth, man, okay? Not a not a not a covenant breaker, man. Okay, not an idolater, not a liar. Okay, not a tail bearer. Okay, a man of honor. Okay, a, a, a holy man, a separate man. That's the type of person you ought to be in all convers in all the conversation and godliness, man. Okay, because that word conversation doesn't mean what you're saying; it's, it's, it means your actions, man. Okay. All right. Second Peter three and twelve, looking for and hastening into the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire should be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, the elect, okay, look for a new heaven and a new earth. Wherein dwell of righteousness, man. Okay. So that's what we that's what we looking we looking forward to, man. Okay. A new heavens and a new earth, man. Okay. Cause this is this is this is this is all played out. This is all this is all bullshit, man. Okay. Here in America, America, just read everything, man. Everything on this earth is defiled, man. Okay. Everything is defiled, man. Okay. We sick we sick of this place, man. Okay. So we look we look forward to a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness, man. Okay? No more wickedness, man. Okay? No more black culture, man. Okay? No more black panther, man. Alright? No more fucking niggas, man. With their pants hanging off their ass, man. Okay? No more we win, we blonde, we win, menstruous dogs parading calling themselves women, man. No more the little kids out of order, man. The young faggot kids, man. Young lesbian girls, long young lesbians, 10, 11 years old, talking about they're fucking lesbian. Okay? No more seeing these crackers walking around here, uh, not in chains, man. Okay? Time the white man be able to look me in my eye, man. And the heathens, too, man. Okay? Every time you go in the fucking store, my brother, my brother, nah, man, fuck you, Ishmael. Okay? Looking for righteousness, man. A new heaven and a new earth, man. No GMOs. No gene splicing. No barium in the air. Man. Alright, with that, I'm going to say, Kav Halal, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Kakudash, double honors to the apostle that was a great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations. Tell the Akiyama on the four corners, man. A ball, ball, ball. Shalom.